Well, hello, my friends. Hey, how are you? This is Todd Farmer here. Today, I want to talk to you a bit about how to set up a page using ShareSales Make a Page tool, just like I did for Evan with his Angry Birds section of VideoGameKid.com. I've actually gotten quite a few questions about this privately. Apparently, nobody is uh, bold enough to ask a question directly under the videos and I'm getting all these email questions privately so hey don't be shy you can comment it's okay no one's gonna bite um, but nonetheless I have questions to answer and I shall answer them now so first of all if you are wondering what is um, this share a sale make a page tool as I'm going to show you first let's show you the results as I have set them up on videogamekid.com for again my 11 year old son Evan who wants to make a cool site about video games he loves Angry Birds so that kinda got me thinking we should set up something about Angry Birds so I have a whole page here all about Angry Birds in fact there'll be much 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 more here but I wanted to have like a, a placeholder that held up all the Angry Birds stuff, whether it's reviews or gifts or products or whatever, this is gonna be the main page. So this is not part of the share sale make a page tool, but you will be able to see them when you link through to any of these pages here. So for instance, the plush toys. Now this page is in fact all from share sales make a page tool. I didn't have to do anything. I'm not a designer, so I couldn't have done this stuff. I am actually just now learning enough to be dangerous when it comes to tables and setting them up myself. So I kind of, I'm thinking I'm, I'm at a point now where I could possibly do this, but frankly, it's much easier to use share sales, make a, make a page tool instead of me being a make a page tool myself. So let me show you. Okay, so here's the first one, right? Here's the plush toys page. And, um, well, I'll just rewind it back here so you can see. This is where you can link to um, Angry Birds t-shirts. And, of course, also from an SEO perspective, I want you to know that I link to them from the home page as well and a usability perspective as well. So if you're noticing here, I just have some a quick little sentence here. And look how clever I am. What says I'm better than you like an Angry Birds t-shirt? What indeed? So here is the results of my share sale make a page tool for Angry Birds t-shirts. And here we go. Da, 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 da. See that? All right. So here they all are. They're all laid out nicely and they look good. It's centered. There's all these descriptions here. All the descriptions came included in the uh, make a page tool for me so that was quite con uh, convenient for me let's take a look so how you do it is you start here inside share sale and as you can see here I'm already in the section for my baskets and what's really cool about share sales new interface is that they have this way for you to create these little baskets and all they really are, I'm sure there, there's much more to it than this, but really what I use them for is one, I can save a list of merchants that I want to apply to and I can kind of manage that process a bit more in bulk, which is very convenient. And um, what I'm using it for here is to find different products that match my search criteria. In this case, Angry Birds or Angry Birds plush toys or Angry Birds t-shirts. And then from there, I save them in a basket and then once I have my basket oh, well I can do anything I want with it and what I want to do with it in this demonstration is create a page using their little tool so let's kind of take one step back shall we and I'll show you how to get to this part first so let me go ahead and close this out and come back over to my home page inside share a sale so it's a tool <laughs> the make a page tool is a tool so you go to, go up to tools and click make a page and uh, first of all let me kind of preface this whole demonstration that I am no expert in uh, share sales um, back end I, I know enough to get 
the job done. What's really great about Share Sale is that they will actually teach you what I can try to teach you, but they're really good at it and they're just a wonderful affiliate network to work with. So I do suggest you check into some of their free webinars and training opportunities where they can actually show you much, 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 much more in depth how to use this kind of stuff. So let's continue. I am now in the make a page tool area. And as you can see here, I can uh, select a, a merchant or whatever, but in this demonstration, I want to select a basket. So here's where I can select a basket that I've created. So let's imagine, if you will, I have never created a basket yet and I want to create one. So all I have to do is here is click here. And that takes me to the basket area and the basket area. I'm sure that's how they want it to be known. And all I've got to do here is type in the keyword like, for instance, angry birds. Let's go ahead, angry birds and search. Well, so actually I think I messed up because I should have just uh, clicked products, but I guess it doesn't matter because it, it's uh, searching both products and merchants. And I'm looking for products, not merchants. And here we go. So there's all these different uh, products that have Angry Birds in the name, as you can see here, right? All right. So at this point, this product, the Knock on Wood game, I do not have added to any baskets. Now I can add it to a basket by simply hovering over here and finding an appropriate basket. And here we go, the plush toys. Let's just kind of make it easy. I'll show you the plush toys ones first. Currently, this plush toy here is in the Angry Birds plush toy basket. And la 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 la. Oh, it looks like the other ones down here, um, I've added them to Angry Birds plush toys and in the basket overall called Angry Birds. So it looks like I wasn't very consistent up here. So let me go ahead and do that now. So now they're in both um, an overall Angry Birds basket as well as my um, Angry Birds plush toys basket because I, I may want to have an overall Angry Birds make a page tool or use that in some capacity. But in, in for my purposes, I want to break it down a bit more granularly than just as a simple singular basket that has everything inside it. So that way I can make a page called Angry Birds Plush Toys and only include the Angry Birds Plush Toys, Angry Birds Plush Toys in my make a page uh, tool. So that's what I'm doing here. And la 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 la, anything else? There's some keychains, kind of cool. All right. Let me go ahead and also just now that you can see that I can click make here uh, click this and make a new basket if I want to. I'm not going to do that right now, but I do want to show you here is like uh, let's say the Angry Birds T-shirts. So let me go ahead, go ahead and go to this basket. And here we are. There are how many are there? There's 16 um, Angry Birds T-shirts in this basket and it shows it down here as well all right so let's see what else is there to tell you about this because i'm going to show you now how to make a page using this basket all right so now let's assume that you've gone through you've done your searches for the products you've added them to an appropriate basket and now it's time to do, 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 make a page so this is pretty straightforward you click this import to make a page and voila. Now I'm at this tool. Now this is the part where um, it can be a little confusing, but just experiment a little bit first and don't worry, you will go through this process a bit over and over again. Um, so the results per page, it, these are all the defaults as you can see here. So take a look at this. Uh, results per page 15. If you remember, I have 16 um, Angry Birds t-shirts in my basket. So I don't want somebody to have to paginate through 15, then go to the final one just for the last 16th. So I shall make this 16. I am also going to sort them, uh, let's say alphabetically by name. What the heck? Ascending. I'm going to leave the border, oh, excuse me, why am I so itchy today? Uh, the border, link color, font, all that stuff, I'm going to leave that alone. The items per row, I'm going to leave that alone for now just to show you. Uh, what it looks like by default and why I like to 
drink shrink it down to two. And also, since I don't really know what's completely included in this data feed, I'm going to select a few extra things just to see what do I want to keep in this make a page tool results thingamajigger. So let's start with uh, price, description, skew, and short description. Anything else? That should do it for now. So let me go ahead and view the results here. And voila. So you can see here that this is really wide, right? So I don't want this to be five um, rows deep. I just, I don't want that wide, that is. And A is for Angry Birds t shirt. That's the name, the price. This looks like it's the skew. And we have a description and a short description. And in this particular case, they're both the same. So that's one of the things I like to do first, just to see what my options are. Now I see that they are the same and there's really no point in that. So let me go ahead and go back and finally make this for real. So again, I'm gonna make this at 16. I'm going to sort it um, alphabetically by name in ascending order. I'm going to make it uh, items per row two and also the table width. And if you notice that table is really wide, it's not just wide because of the number of rows that were in there, it's wide based upon the size of my page. And so inside WordPress, where I'm going to simply copy and paste this into my WordPress page, I kind of want to make sure it's nice and narrow just to be sure. So I'm going to make this at 70. Let's see here. Yes, I've used 70% before. So voila. I'm going to use thumbnail image. It looks like it's the same image as the big image. And I can select either the description or short description because in this case, they're both the exact same. So it doesn't matter. And I think that should do it. Oh, the other thing is I do want links to open in a new window. So therefore, when someone comes to my site, they click on one of the little green Angry Birds t-shirts, they click it and boom, it pops open a new window. If they don't like that, they simply close that window and now they're back on my, my site so they can find another shirt. And that's it. So go ahead. Let's view the results. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Easy enough, right? Look at that. So super easy. So all I've got to do now, literally, is this. I hit Control A or Command A in the Apple, on uh, the Mac that is. <laughs> I said Apple. That's funny. And copy uh, uh, Apple C or Command C, Control C, whatever, or right click. And so now I have copied all this to my uh, clipboard. And now all I've got to do is, is simply go into this page. Let me see if I can just do it here. Edit this. Yep. So now I am going to basically create this page. It's really, really simple. And if it was a brand new page, then I would just um, go to up to here to um, uh, pages, add new, make my title, uh, make sure it's appropriately keyword based, include uh, uh, some quick little description, and then click over here to HTML. That's another component that's very important. And that's it. All this stuff here, as you can see, table class. Oh, actually, in this example, I kept it at 90%. So perhaps 90% isn't so bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, I'm going to replace all of this with, oh, of course, let me start this over. I'm going to replace the entire thing with the new table just to see what it looks like. And let's see here. This this is how it would look like if I just typed in the quick headline and the little eight. So the H1, then H2, and the little enter. I hit paste and preview changes. Let's see. How does it look? How does it look? Come on, bring it. Here it is. That's how it looks. So that's in 70% wide. That's not bad. Actually, I think it looks better. And that's it. So now I've made the page. It, if you noticed, it looks just like this right here. Looks just like it, doesn't it? Oh, wait, but it looks like the table. Yeah. Now, I don't know why this happened. I'm not a designer guy. I'm just glad it did. Because the table uh, parameters, whatever, I don't see the columns and stuff. So that's cool with me. I'm quite happy with it. So that was it. That's all I had to do. Oh, you may have said, Todd, wait a minute. What happened to the navigation? Well, 
I don't want to have navigation on this page. I just want them to be able to see the pages and all I have to do here is click over here under the template full width template. Sometimes you'll see it as a template called no sidebars or full width or whatever but I, if I had selected the default template let's see what that would have looked like and I think I'll show it won't it? Of course not because it's live. Great. Super. All right. Oh, oh well. Okay, one more try. Blog and news. See, I, oftentimes I think you have to actually have to hit save, and that's when it'll use the proper new template and stuff. But, yep. Oh well. I'm not gonna mess with it right now because I'm happy with it as it was before. So, let's just leave it alone. Let's see how it looks. So this is what it looked like before. I'm happy with it call it a day but now you know how I did it how you can simply create a page inside share sales make a page tool and you don't have to do anything other than find the products put them in a basket import them into make a page use the settings inside the tool copy the uh, the HTML code put that HTML code into your WordPress page and of course when you paste it don't forget to use HTML that's very important otherwise it'll look like crap if not, it just simply won't work. And that's all. So that's all for now. Have a great day. Bye.